the Just Got Played's White Elephant Gift Giving Guide. So if you're not familiar with Just Got Played, we review, play, comment on lots of different board and card games. So in this guide, we're gonna be looking at games that are very simple, uh, so you can give those as a gift to anyone, whether they're a gamer or not. And we're looking at gifts that are $20 or less. So all the games on this list are simple and $20 or less. All right, I'm gonna start with a game called No Thanks. So No Thanks, I'll tell you the rules right now because it's so simple. You turn over a card, you look at the number on the card, and if you want to keep the card, you can just take it. If you don't want to keep the card, you put a marker on it and you pass it. No thanks. And if it comes back around to you, you can take it with any markers that are on it, or you can put a marker on it and pass it. No thanks. And uh, the reason that you might want to take one is because if it has some markers on it and you're low on markers and you need more markers, you'll take it. Um, if you... <laughs> Uh, if you have markers and you just want to pass it, why do you want to pass it? Well, because every card you take is worth a certain number and you're trying to get the lowest score. So you don't want to get the higher cards. And it's interesting because if you get runs of numbers, uh, numbers in a row, um, then only the lowest one counts. So a card that is a really high number may be worth no points to you, but worth points to other people. So they'll keep putting on markers until you claim it. Uh, but if somebody's out of markers or just feels like they need more markers, they might take it. So you got to be careful not to keep passing it around the table. So very interesting game. Very simple. Plenty of rules uh, videos uh, on the Internet so you can learn how to play it. Um, and it is really a fun time. Plays up to a lot of players. Uh, and everybody I've ever played it with really enjoys it. So my recommendation, no thanks. And for our next recommendation, we'll pass it on. Hello, this is Eric. And I'm Tiffany. We are Terrific Base Gaming, and we are with... Just Got Played. Indeed. And today we're going to talk about our white elephant choices for you. Uh, we do have a couple of games to talk about. So, Tiffany, why don't you start us off? All right. So, the criteria to be uh, recommended for this section were to be less than $20 and to be easy to teach, easy to learn. So, the game that I thought fit that bill pretty well is called Weird Words. It is a word game. Um, it's run by an app on your phone. So, everybody sits down around a table. You pass out some tiles that have been pre-selected um, to have it a different assortment. And it's like Werewolf, if you've played that game. Um, you can be a werewolf. You might be a villager. You might be one of the other uh, classes or or, I don't know, people that Bodies. are in the game. Um, and so you have your designation. And once everybody knows who they are, the app will kind of guide you. And it'll say, okay, everybody close your eyes. Um, werewolves, look up. And everyone, all the werewolves look up and see who it is. Anyways, it's it starts a lot like werewolf. But the, the werewolves end up picking a word that's displayed on the app. They silently press the word they pick. Um, and then the app moves you along to start the actual gameplay. The wolf in the, or the, the, no, it's the, the wolves don't pick the word. It's the, right. it's the mayor that the picks mayor. the word. Yeah. So the mayor picks the word, the may, and the, the mayor may be a werewolf. You never know because they're not mutually exclusive. So sometimes it is the werewolf. Right. Sometimes that's the person that wants everyone to lose. So that can be tricky. Um, but anyways, the mayor can't say anything. And so when everybody opens their eyes, at the mayor has all of these yes, no chips. Maybe, I think they've got yes, no, maybe, unclear. Some, they got a couple of different um, options. And just to be clear, the... The villagers are trying to guess the secret word. To guess word, the secret word. And the yeah. werewolves are trying to get them to not guess the right. secret word. Right. And throw everyone off the trail of the secret word. But so you ask questions to the mayor about their word, yes, no questions, and they give you a chip back. And everyone can see it's public knowledge. Everyone can see what the chip is. And so that kind of gives you hints and directs you towards um, figuring out what the word is. It's timed. And so if you guess the word before the timer goes off, then you win. The villagers win. If nobody guesses the time before the word before the timer goes off, then it goes to the elimination where it's, okay, well, can we guess at least who the werewolves are? And so if you can figure out who the werewolves are, then, then, the, villagers win. then the villagers still win. But if they don't know who the werewolves are and they can't figure out the word, 
than the werewolves win. Um, so it's a fun way to just spend some time with anybody. You don't need to be a gamer to understand um, this game and to participate. It's just a lot of fun, really easy, good party game. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty simple to run. The app takes care of most of the overhead for you. Uh, really you just need someone that's willing to read the instructions for everybody. For the and first then, time, yeah. Then you just roll with it. Uh, I have a very similar game to recommend. I'm going to recommend just one. Uh, it's also a word game. Uh, so this is kind of easy to pick word games in this category because word games, I mean, everybody knows everybody words. Everybody likes words. Everybody knows who <laughs> likes words. So it's really easy. So just one works a little bit differently. There's no app. Uh, basically, it's a deck of cards, and on each card, there's five words. One, two, three, four, five. And whoever's turn it is, uh, they just flip up one of these cards so they can't see it, and they say either one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest of the people playing, uh, they will try to get that person to guess that word. And the way that they do that is they write one word, just one, phrase, number, whatever, just one something. On well, this... just one word for sure, not one phrase. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Just, just one. Just one. Exactly. And it, it's uh, nice because when people ask questions, you're like, just one. Just that's one. the rule. Just can one. I use it? Just, just one. one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you write out this little plastic thing. And then the person whose turn it is, they close their eyes, stop paying attention, whatever. And then everybody who wrote a word turns it around. And any two words that are the same are out. So it gets to be interesting because if you're playing with, say, five people, you might have four different words up there. Like fruit, yellow, I don't know, potassium. Hi. And then somebody goes, hey, banana. And you're like, yes. Yay. But if three people wrote banana, they're all out and you're left with potassium. So good luck, good luck with that. So that's a cooperative game. Uh, we found very to be very successful with all groups of people that we played it with. Gamers and non-gamers alike. Yep. They all enjoy playing. All one. age ranges. We've played from 11 yeah, up to 60s and 70s. And it's a big hit. So either way, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these word games. Like, uh, like the lady says. Everybody knows words. That's right. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, you actually, you said likes words. Yeah, it's because based on my interactions with some maybe people. Maybe some people don't like They don't words, know. Everybody knows words. words. I promise you that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, we're going to send it on to... Whatever's Lloyd. next. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Lloyd. And my pick for the White Elephant slash secret board game Santa is... Love Letter. Right? <laughs> So there are so many versions of Love Letter, um, but they all basically boil down to the same thing, right? Um, you're trying to make it to the end of the round and be the last person standing. How do you do that? It's pretty simple. Everyone's gonna get dealt a single card. Um, on your turn, you're gonna draw a card, so you'll have two, everyone else have one. You choose one of the two cards to play, you play it down in front of you and you do what it says. Now, what do the cards do? Um, there are a handful of different cards. There's, uh, in the deck, there's, 16 cards total, um, and there are different numbers of each of those cards. Um, so the most common card is you play the card and you try to guess, you pick some money and you guess, hey, I think you're this. And if you guess it right, they're out of the game. There's some other cards that make people discard the card they have in their hand. There's other cards that um, say, if you have this, if, if you discard this card, you lose. Um, there's other cards that say, um, hey, I'm gonna pick this and we're gonna fight by comparing our card value of the card we have in our hand. Um, so all you're trying to do is eliminate the other person. Games typically last, you know, a minute, two minutes tops, um, because there's only 16 cards. You're gonna take one of the cards out. So there's only 15 cards in play in a game and you're just gonna draw a card and play a card. Um, the reason why this game I think is perfect for, you know, non-board gamers is because of how simple it is. Um, it comes with little reference cards that tells you what all the cards in the game are. So even if you don't know what the cards are, you have them right there so you can name them as needed. You, you can see what the power is. And, and it also gives you a card count of those cards. So you can see everyone's cards that they've played out in front of them and you can kind of deduce which cards are still in the deck and in people's hands. Um, there are multiple versions of Love Letter. Um, there's a, an Infinity Gauntlet one, which changes up the style quite a bit. Um, there is a Batman love letter. There is um, an Archer love letter. Um, there are various versions of this game, and they all have little tweaks and rules to the game. Um, the Batman one in particular is my favorite just because of the theming. Um, but it also um, adds a, a new little rule to the game in that if you eliminate someone with Batman by guessing, 
like I'm the Batman, I'm the best detective, and I know you're Bane. If you get that right, if you guess with Batman, you get a a, a token, um, which is one uh, is a game point. So you don't just have to survive to the end of the round. In a round, you can get multiple tokens um, without even winning if you just are able to guess people correctly when you're playing Batman cards. Um, so that is my pick for the secret board game Santa because I think anyone can play it and the game is small, so it's not intimidating. It is very inexpensive. Um, the ones that have an IP attached are a little bit more expensive than the base game, um, but they're all, I think, probably less than 10 bucks, less than 15 bucks for the most part. Um, and you can play this with pretty much anybody. It plays from two, I think, to six people, maybe five. Um, it plays very quick and it's very simple and you can have a lot of fun and play multiple rounds, multiple games of it. Um, and it's always fun because it's, you're just, you're just playing a card and, and guessing and trying to figure out what, what's going on. So that's my pick, um, Love Letter. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a comment or hit the like button. It really does help us out. If you have suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments as well and then subscribe to see what we come up with next.